long live all freedom fighters, those that love life, love freedom enough to fight for it. Long live the spirit of resistance. It's 5.27 p.m. State police helicopter drops it. There is the explosion. Morning. What you are looking at now is a live picture of the water cannons pouring high-pressured streams of water onto the top of the move house. Thirty years ago, when the move activists were bombed here in Philadelphia, the ways in which this country was terrorizing black communities. I'd love to say that things are totally different from then to now, but in so many ways, the attacks on our movement continue to persist. You made the decision to drop a damn bomb on my house. You ruined my life. At the bunker, they decided physically, decided to let the bunker burn. They knew they was gonna burn down the whole neighborhood. Who gave them people that power? I know one thing. If it would ever happen in a white neighborhood, they would have snuffed it out right in the beginning. After they had dropped the bomb, we realized that we had to get our children, our animals, and ourselves out of there. And when we got to the doorway, they opened fire on us. This was not a plan to simply take move people into custody. This was a plan to kill off the MOVE organization. The night after police removed Ramona Africa from the house on Osage Street. She was taken to Misericordia Hospital in West Philadelphia where she refused treatment for second degree burn. Then police took her to police headquarters where homicide detectives are questioning her right now. Ramona Africa... I still didn't know that, you know, everyone else had been killed. Not one single official involved in the planning or murder of my family has ever been charged with anything, imprisoned for anything, held accountable in any way. The only person to go to prison as a result of the events of May 13, 1985 is me. I spent seven years in prison. story was told by the mainstream media, the story of those activists, of their work. Today, I believe with camera phones, people are able to move that content directly to the public and give the public the ability to have a conversation. Black folks are the base of the Democratic Party and have consistently been the drivers for any success the Democratic Party had. The moment we are in around police brutality and police misconduct and the work to create a more accountable system and structure. Candidates are accountable to our community before and after the vote. There is hope. Seeing young people today stepping up, refusing to accept being murdered in the street by cops, it's long overdue. The problem here is they're trigger happy. They don't care what color you are. They shoot and ask questions later.